just practice more cases. So this is a very, very common advice or suggestion that many people are getting in the respective online forums where they inform themselves about how to prepare for their top tier strategy consulting interviews. And in the next couple of minutes, I will <clears throat> share my perspective and explain to you why I don't believe this is a very smart suggestion if you want to prepare in a systematic way to maximize the chances to end up with, an, with a top tier strategy consulting offer. So let's really start with a comparison here. Um, because what would you need to do if you practice and learn for a vocabulary test? There is a word A and then there is the translation, um, and then there is a word B in a different language, right? So it's essentially when word A in, in one language, it's word B in another language. And what is tested is, do you know B? That's tested. So now let's speak about a strategy consulting interview. When there is an, uh, a question A and an answer B, what is not tested in focus is the answer B. What is tested in focus is the way how you will get from question A to answer B. And what most candidates do, and this is also what this advice is most often targeting at, is essentially they learn answers by heart as many as possible in order to build a portfolio of answers that then can be used to answer whatever question A. And what this leads to is you institutionalized a thinking pattern. You institutionalized a thinking pattern that is mainly focusing on, let me just look for an answer. I have done something in my past already that was similar to this. So mm, yeah, mm, let me think. Ah, yeah, no, I remember it was these three points. So let me mention them here. This is what you, what you institutionalize then when you are answering questions like this, when you're practicing early up on in your preparation journey as much as possible. Um, but you might understand very well that um, a vocabulary test and an, a strategy consulting interview might be two different pairs of shoes. And what we are regularly seeing is people reaching out to us asking for help and telling us I've done 150 cases already. It's just a little bit tweaking. One or two sessions will be fully enough for me. And then we do session one. And then it's clear this will not do the trick. This will not do the trick. And why? Because um, instead of learning how to systematically solve a case, meaning what is in between A and B, verbalizing this clearly, making sure that the interviewer is able to follow you, having the right analytics in place, having the right plan in place, how you inevitably will get from A to B. Instead of all of this, in these 100 or 150 cases, these candidates have built a portfolio of answers that then they shoot without reflection, without taking into account the nuances of every single case there is. Every single case will have nuances. And they're completely ignoring them usually. They're completely ignoring them because what they have done in the past is having built a portfolio of pre-learned answers. And that is a clear way to fail your top tier strategy consulting interviews. So yes, um, if you practice, if you do more cases, that's, that's a good advice, but only if you have a solid theoretical fundament and you use this practice to increase or perfectionize the skill going from A to B, not to build up a portfolio of answers of B. And that's a big difference. But in order to do that, you first need to have a, a sound theoretical fundament to actually know how a logic looks like going from A to B making crystal clear also how to verbalize this, how to communicate this to the interviewer so he or she is able to follow you. And once this is in place, then you also can start practicing. But please, 
practice with people where the feedback is useful. And people that are giving you the feedback, oh, this was not B from another case, and I have seen this, and I have seen this, but that are helping you to further improve your logic going from A to B. This is what you will need. This is what will bring you systematic success. This is what, you, what will maximize your chances of ending up at a top tier consultancy, right? So make sure you know what you're doing and what advice you're going to follow and under which circumstances you do that. Hope that was helpful. Let's go.